We really hope that the truth of that night will be shown. A San Francisco mother is in Rome tonight, praying that her son's life sentence for killing an Italian police officer will be overturned. The appeal hearings began today, and the process is expected to take several weeks, in fact. I-Team reporter Dan Noyce has been covering the case from the start, and he's back with the very latest. Dan? Well, Kristen and Dan, we're actually talking about two young men who attended Tam High in Mill Valley and who are now appealing their life sentences. One stabbed the officer, he says, in self-defense, and the other struggled with a second officer that early morning in July of 2019. That first defendant who struggled with an officer and ran away is Gabriel Natale York of Marin County, now 21 years old. Today, the prosecutor asked the court to reduce his life sentence to 24 years, but confirmed he's pursuing a life sentence for 22-year-old Finnegan Elder of San Francisco, who stabbed a second officer to death in July 2019. His mother, Leah, is in Rome for the appeal. My son is um, painfully aware that the actions that he had that night caused the death of a man, and he suffers uh, from tremendous guilt. He's also painfully aware of the injustice that his version of the events were never listened to or believed. Finn Elder said from the start that he didn't know Care Bernieri Vice Brigadier Mario Trucello Rega was a police officer. He wore street clothes, did not have a badge, handcuffs, or service weapon. Elder said he thought Trucello Rega and his partner were mob thugs coming for them after a drug deal went bad. I think that Finnegan has a very good self-defense argument. I think in the in the U.S., this would be a really good case. I think you could get a defense verdict on this. San Francisco attorney Craig Peters is on Elder's defense team to file this 45-page appeal brief, listing example after example of the judges in the first trial favoring the prosecution, even steering witnesses while they were testifying. The, the judges clearly had a bias. They had a bias against the defendants. They had a bias against the defense attorneys. Uh, they had a bias in favor of the prosecution, a bias in favor of the carabinieri. UC Hastings professor Ugo Mattei is an expert in Italian law. He told me from Rome today that the Italian appeals court is different than the American. The panel of two professional judges and six lay jurors are considering all the evidence a second time and will make their own decision. It's like in tennis. It's like a second set, okay? So imagine a tennis match. It's not that the first one is more important because it's a trial. Based on what happened on that street corner after 3 in the morning, Matei expects the young men to return to the state soon, either acquitted or allowed to serve reduced sentences in an American prison. The facts are so confused, and the conditions of the, of the whole arrest was so messed up that to think that a boy of 19, you know, decides to kill a cop with a knife, to me, is a far call. Also today, shocking texts have surfaced in the Italian media during the trial of another carabinieri who blindfolded Natale York during his interrogation. Shortly after the arrests, Churchill Rega's colleagues suggest beating or killing the Americans. One text even says you have to melt them in acid. And it really shines a light on the venomous environment that my son and the other boy were in in those first hours. The judges have locked down the courtroom because of COVID. No reporters or cameras allowed inside. Now, Leah Elder was at first admitted, but then asked to wait outside while the hearing continued, Dan. Well, let, let's go back to what's, uh, what she just said the, about the conditions they were in. It's been two and a half years now, Dan. Right. How are they doing? I mean, they're in a foreign land, locked up with these terrible charges they've been convicted of. They are trying to make the best of it. Yeah. Uh, Finn Elder actually had his 22nd birthday last month in prison. He apparently fell into a pretty deep depression, uh, but his parents now tell me that he is taking classes. He's learning Italian. His Italian is getting pretty good, and uh, he's also playing sports and working out, so he is getting out of the funk. But, yeah, of course, it's been a huge adjustment for Terrible. both of them. Yeah, obviously. All right. Thanks, Dan, very much, keeping us up to date on this uh, all this time. Where well, you can contact the I-Team and Dan specifically. If you have a story that you think needs to be investigated, go to abc7news.com slash I-Team or call 1-888-40-I-Team.